Okay. Um, I started uh, working on this one earlier today, but my internet was being goofy, so I basically stopped it. I'll probably end up just deleting that video because it was probably like a half an hour of just nonsense. I never really got into the painting yet. <clears throat> so I'm going to just do that now. Yeah, so this, uh, this painting is... I just, uh, oh, I know what I did. What I did do is I start, I chopped down, I added some of these, these strokes across here, and then I started chopping down this hill because it looked a little goofy. So maybe I'll just go ahead and continue with that, just see what happens. Oh, why, why are those black bars there? What in the hell? Oh, did I screw something up? Ah, oh, damn, it looks like I screwed something up. Okay, for some reason there's black bars on this <clears throat> on the screen, but you know what? Uh, to hell with it. Let's just do it. <clears throat> I don't know why that is. Why is that? Does that mean everything's squished in? Oh, maybe. I don't know what the hell those things are. Technology. I need to go educate myself some more on the technology. All oh, these brushes are all stiff. Oh, dude, I just can't. I think I pooched these these. These feel really stiff. I must have left them out. Damn it, I'm stupider. How stupid. That's stiff. That one's really stiff inside. Damn. A good thing they weren't expensive. And I might be able to uh, revive them. This one's okay. <clears throat> All right. Oh, let's open up the chat. Let's make sure if the chat's working. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, okay. All right, and a little bit of white. <clears throat> Excuse me. Those ones. Let's, just, let's go through and add some. Oh, that's already dried up. <laughs> Time is at six thirty-four. People are probably having dinner now. I always pick the most awesome time to stream. <clears throat> cough, cough. Cough, any cough, cough. <coughs> yeah, I want to get. I need to add some marks here to make it obvious. It's more purposeful and not just a bunch of random. Well, it is mostly random, isn't it? Mostly random. Bunch of squiggles. I feel like doing some abstract nonsense silliness. Most abstract painting is pretty silly, isn't it? Oh, yeah, I was thinking about this. Where I was just thinking about patterns. Oh, right. I think the whole thing about abstract painting is just there's patterns and our brains are hardwired to recognize and probably feel some sort of satisfaction from seeing patterns. And I got that from watching this little, well, I think I've been thinking about this for a long time, but it sort of just clicked about 20 minutes ago. I was watching this thing on YouTube or just some sort of thing, video where this guy's a drummer. And I didn't know they're called doubles and triples, but like you hit the, you hit the, like that's a double. I guess that's a triple. And he's going really fast. And all he's doing is just a bunch of silly little different rhythms. So maybe that's why we like uh, abstract painting so much, is that it gives our brain something to to bring in and and it <clears throat> feels good. That's my theory. If you don't like it, too bad. You can copyright it. Someone can Someone can steal that idea and sell it for... Eight bucks.
Hmm. Don't like those orange things in the sky there. I'm going to blast those out. Let's blast them out with some color, shall we? Ooh, that's a nice blue. It's a nice blue. It's a matter. What's the matter, you? Hey, why are you looking so sad? It's a not so bad. It's a nicer place. Ah, shut up in your face. <clears throat> what is that from? I used to listen to the comedy radio when I was a kid on Sunday night. Sunday Funnies, I think it was called. And one of the people that was on there was actually Jim Carrey. He did, and this is radio. Can you believe that radio? I used to tape it with my little cassette tapes and I loved it. I loved the comedy hour. And afterwards, this really corny show called The, the Shadow. Who is Shadow Knows? And as soon as it came out, I was like, ah, it's boring. It was like, you know, people doing like fully, like clip, clop, clip, clop shoes and stuff. And they'd, oh no, it's, it's Detective Johnson. Dun, dun, dun. Da, 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 da. <laughs> That's right. They used to have these really dramatic kind of like in, in orchestral kind of like pauses. <clears throat> and it was also obviously Foley. Foley is, the, is, where, is when you make um, sound effects using objects. So when someone walks, they're like have, they might have like a piece of a brick on, on sand and it sounds like they're walking. Anyhow. One of the things was that I think that song that 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 ridiculous, hey what ah shut up your face, was from a comedy night in Toronto. Was it Q one hundred seven? No, I can't remember. Maybe it was before Q one hundred seven. That's like a one of the old school Toronto Toronto uh, music stations. See if you're from Toronto. Let me give you a little tip. We call it Toronto. There's no last, there's no T at the end. It's just Toronto. Toronto. If you say Toronto, <clears throat> if you pronunciate Toronto, we know that you're not from Toronto. Toronto. What's the matter, you? One of my first bosses was Italian. I love that guy. He was hilarious. He used to love, like, swearing at me in Italian but we loved it like we would he would I could insult him too like he would hey Josh what are you doing like I got to fire which means what the fuck are you doing <laughs> hey shamo I think shamo means stupid those were the good old days when Okay, I'm not sure. I don't like that little bit there. Maybe I'll bring in some. <clears throat> hmm. What should I do? What should I do? I was thinking about maybe maybe I'll make these orange. Yeah, I like this layering effect. I don't like this. I still have to figure out what the hell I'm gonna do here. And I could probably make this look more like a reflection. So let's get some orange. Orange, just orange. It's pretty funny that there's literally nobody here. I'm all alone now. <clears throat> what day is it? Is it Saturday? Yeah, it's Saturday. <clears throat> oh, there's three people watching. Holy shit. What am I going to do? Better say something intelligent. No, nah, that's not going to happen. Don't get your hopes up. Hopes up. Okay. So, what is this weird little stuff? The reason why I want to do orange is I want to have it separate from... Separate. Separate and separate. Maybe even yellow. Maybe I'll put some yellow on there. And browns. You know what? It's too goddamn weird colorful. Let's put some colors. Other colors. I gotta <clears throat> tone it down a little bit. Tone it a little bit. Tone it down. Make it a little. Let's add some 
Darkness needs more darkness. Needs more darkness. Whoa. Okay. Don't like those dark colors. Let's bring in some. What? Where'd that come from? Where did this yellow come from? Let's make a new yellow. I know. That's what we'll do. We'll make a new orange. We'll add red. <clears throat> Let's get. That's actually our. Ooh, that's a nice orange already. That is a nice orange. Let's put this crazy. It's almost like red. Okay, so let's let's make our own. We gotta work fast because this stuff dries. Ooh, look, it's like fire. It's like fire. So these will have smaller brush strokes. Oh, it's darkened so quickly. That's, that is the problem with gouache. I'm kind of looking forward to getting back to oils because <clears throat> gouache is very temperamental and it's definitely dries a different color than it looks. You don't have much time to make it not ungood. You don't have much time to make it right and then you gotta figure out what the hell's going on. <clears throat> I do this orange thing over here too. Well, I've already started it. Let's just see what happens. Let's take that. Now I want more. I want more yellowy. Ooh, that's a nice yellow. Mustard. I think I, I like this mustard. That's a good mustard color. It's a good color, right here. Let's see what we make. What kind of color are you going to be today? <coughs> Why is there something in my throat? That's kind of interesting. I could probably bring some of that over here. That, whatever. Hmm, interesting. Maybe. Oh, somebody said something. Hot and summer, late Saturday here in the mid Atlantic Ocean. What the hell? You're in the mid Atlantic Ocean? What are you doing in the middle of the ocean? Simone, get the hell out of there. <clears throat> what are you doing in the mid-Atlantic? That's freaking me out. If you're on a boat, oh, I hate goddamn boats. Fuck, I hate boats. Boats suck. <laughs> I'm a land lover. What are you doing in the middle of the ocean, Simone? Are you on a cruise? One of those... <clears throat> that sounds like the worst possible time I could imagine being on a cruise ship. You'd have to pay me to go to, on one of those goddamn things. You'd have to pay me a lot of freaking money for me to go on a cruise ship. Be around all kinds of people. I don't like being around lots of people. Too annoying. Also, the goddamn ocean. Fucking sharks and stuff. Fall in the ocean, they're going to eat you. There's that. That's two things about the ocean. That's all I need to know. <clears throat> Although I do love underwater stuff. Like I love watching, I was watching this. You're not on an island, cool. Is this, a, is this a vacation or is that where you live? Mid-Atlantic, so, because everyone thinks of the Pacific Islands, you know, like Guam, or not, maybe not Guam, but <clears throat> Bora Bora, that's, that's, that sounds cool. But what's the Mid-Atlantic Oceans? <clears throat> What are mid-Atlantic ocean uh, islands? I have no idea. Yeah, well, what uh, what island are you on? If I'm allowed to ask, pray tell, pray inform us of your island habitat habitation. I'm gonna have to Google this. Like, I'm gonna have to figure out. <clears throat> I need to know. I need to know these things. These are important things to know. What islands are on in the uh, Atlantic? Bermuda. Oh, this uh, mid-Atlantic. That's not mid-Atlantic. I've been to Bermuda. <clears throat> There's nothing mid. I once went. I was. Here's a quick story. <clears throat> My parents, bless them, 
never took us on any fun vacations. We had to go to always cultural educated stuff. Like when we were, and I'm not, so, but in retrospect, I think it was great. It was awesome. It was better. And like, for example, we went to Mexico once and they went, we went to like the Oaxaca ruins and shit. We never went to the beach. Oh, you live here. Azores. I agree about crews, not crazy about people. <laughs> so anyhow, all like there's four of us kids. We were all complaining. It's like we want to, well, actually I didn't, I didn't like it. I, I, they wanted to go to a beach. So they arranged, and I was about 17 and went to Bermuda. I actually didn't like it. It was too fucking hot and sandy and shit. That's cool. Terra Sierra Island, one of nine. Oh no, so I've never been to B Bermuda. It's Bahamas. It was Bahamas. And it was a B Barracuda. That's what. I'll, I'll definitely have to look it up, your little thing. Yeah, no, I've never been to Bermuda. It was Bahamas. Anyhow, my whole story, which is now completely ruined because it's irrelevant, was I was standing about in about two feet of water and I saw a silver, in a, like in about 30, 40 feet from the shore. And it was pretty clear and, and not a lot of waves and stuff. And I saw the silver streak way in the distance. It came towards me faster and faster and it went right between my legs and it was a barracuda. <clears throat> That's my, so I got confused. Bermuda, Barracuda, Bahamas, what the hell? I think my sisters loved it. They like the, they're, you know, they like sun and beaches and stuff, but I'm not, I'm like, I think I'll be happier inside. <laughs> Which is weird, because I love nature. I love nature. I just don't like, just like hot beaches. Could piss me off. Okay, what's happening? Whoops. Check above Google info when you have time. No, let's, let's do it right now. Let's go check this stuff out here. We're gonna look up Terra Sierra Island because that sounds so cool. Like that's cool. Like I'm right now. We're talking, and you're on a freaking island in Azores Archipelago. Okay, let's open up the. Let's look at the images. Wait, images. Let's get rid of this. Uh, whoa, that's pretty cool. It's much greener than I was expecting. <clears throat> like this looks like fields. Oh, is that? That looks like Italy, like with those uh, sienna, um, uh, sienna colored tops with very orange roofs with white. We have sand beaches, but mostly rock pools. Great to drip in and go home. That's pretty cool. What do people do out there? Like, how do you like how do you make a living just in this beautiful place? That's what I want to know. Yeah, I'm looking up. I'm oh, Tenor, Tenerife. That sounds very familiar. T e n e r i f e. This this looks like. Yep, good girl. There's no one there. We're good. What a good. She's such a good guard dog, man. It's okay. You're a good girl. It's okay. Look at her, ready to. Ready to go with your tail up. You're a good girl. Yes, you are. Tenerife. Is this a place where British people party? Like a lot of drunk, drunk expats <laughs> hang out? I might have read a story about it. That looks pretty nice. Or maybe it was a war story I read. I'm just that, that, that name looks really familiar. Tenerife. <laughs> okay, baby. Oh. Hey, but I'm just uh, on the internet right now. So you're welcome to take what you need. Oh, shoot. I was Cheryl said that. I, did, I got the people confused. Cheryl said Tenerife. Would you look at what do you need? Uh, do you have any uh, sriracha? Yeah, it's on the, on the, on the, yeah, right there. Yeah. Thank you. No problem. <clears throat> Tenerife. Okay. Okay, all right, let me go back to it. I'm getting, I'm getting uh, distracted here. No, Cheryl, we're, we're just talking with someone who lives on Terracia Island in the Azores. She's probably like a drug dealer. That's probably what it is. Simone, you're, you're a drug dealer, aren't you? You're probably like one of those <clears throat> billionaire cocaine drug dealers. That's why you're living in the middle of the Atlantic. Come on, fess up. You know it's true. Uh, 
us up, Simone. Canaries Islands. Canary Islands. Yeah. One place I've always wanted to go to South America. I think it'd be cool to go to like Chile. Because I've met, I've had some Chilean friends in the past. I haven't seen them in a long time. And they're really wicked people. And Brazil, man. I've, I've had a, a number, I know a number of Brazilians and they're all awesome. But I don't think I'd want to go to Brazil. It looks like a really goddamn dangerous place. <clears throat> I'd still go. I'd go to Brazil. I'd go to Chile, Argentina, Peru. That would that would be pretty cool to go down there. <clears throat> Where else would I like to go? I've never been to Spain. I'd like to check out Spain and Barcelona and Portugal and stuff. And oh, there's so many places I'd like to go. I've never I never got a chance to go to Northern Europe. Well, Northeastern Europe. Like I didn't get a chance to go to. Denmark, Norway, Sweden, Austria. Oh, no, I went, I've been to Austria. <clears throat> Carnival. Yeah, Carnival would be the last place you would ever find me. Ever. Ever. That's like the j most horrible scenario I could possibly think of is being at a, at a carnival. Around lots of people. Loud. Yeah. I'd say being around a carnival would probably be even worse than being on a cruise ship. That's what I think of that. God damn loud, sons of bitches. Okay, oh, this thing, I should make that bring, okay, hmm, okay. Local trade, local trade cows? I don't think you mean cows. Tourism and new industries coming up on biofoods. Small communities and lots of nature. That's cool. I never said anything about running with the bulls. What the hell are you talking about? Uh oh. I got network problems again. 7.5%. Joshua. You try to call me Joshua. Actually, I like the name Joshua. That's a cool ass name. Okay, so am I, should I bring darkness? What is it? Maybe I should bring, I think I need to bring some darkness in here to reflect this weird shit. No longer hear me? Yeah, I said Spain, that's true. I did say Spain. Can you not hear him anymore? Is my volume gone? Cause I'm, I, you know what? I see, I got the problem again. I've got the 7.9% network, which means things are slowing down. I'm gonna say, can you hear me? Question mark. I might have to stop it because of this stupid network problem. Oh, you can hear me. Okay. Well, that's good. Yeah, it's at 8.5%. So when it gets to 10, I have to stop it because it's just going to be too choppy and I don't know. I don't know what's happening. With I was waiting all day to do to do this thing, and maybe I'll do some darker colors. Maybe like dark blue might be good here. I'm not gonna run with them, goddamn bulls. I'm... That's what I. I would I honestly. That's the kind of thing I totally was into when I was young. I loved doing kind of dangerous is not the great word. It wasn't because of danger. It was more yeah. like excitement. Now I'm like a, I'm a big, like wimp might be a good word. Like I don't, I don't like to do anything. I like, I like napping. Hello, can you hear me now? I'm going to have to stop it soon because the network is crappy. Bug it. Okay, so yeah, it's looking really bad. Network problems. All right. I'm going to have to stop because it's at nine. It's almost my network's almost gone. See, if you can see here, it says 9.3%. That's about when it's getting crap, crap, tastic, delicious. I still got to go. I'm going to, I'm going to go. I'm going to leave. I'm going to go. Yeah, I still, I'm not finished this painting. 
I'm thinking. Here, let me show you what I'm thinking. Then I'm going to get the hell out of here and maybe come back later. Because I'm, I'm basically a loser and don't do anything. Okay. Let me just take this thing off. Oh, autofocus isn't even on. Oh, wait. Autofocus, turn it on. Boop. Um, yeah. Oh, for fuck's sake. Down, down here, I think I might add dark blue to do two things. Not one, but two things. It'll bring in some of the darkness that's reflecting up there, and it'll make it look more look like water. I have a prediction. If I bring dark blue lines going across, come on, autofocus. If I bring dark lines across, you summon a gun. Oh, what, what, what? If I bring dark lines across, it'll look good, Captain Druckman. All right. Bonnie, you drug smuggler living in the middle of the Atlantic. You know it's true. Come on. It's not about local cow trading. <clears throat> okay. Look how little this thing is. Such a little thing. I need something for relative scale. Okay. There's a roll of tape. Oh, here's a top of a Pepsi can. That's a little it is. All right. Okay, I'm gonna. I gotta. I gotta split ski. I'm gonna fix a stupid internet problem. I'm at ten percent, so it's crapola. Boop boop. We're gonna turn this thing into something good. I need a bit more time. I need more time. So uh, these are flat rocks for Mark, so he can shut the hell up about asking for flat rocks every two days. Okay. Okay. Take it easy. Maybe I'll be around later. What time is it? Almost 7 o'clock. Okay. Bye.